All right. Hello, hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to focus on playing around in Far Harbor. There we go. And... There we go. So we have a couple of options, and I overheard... Oh, well, I can't defend Green Top Nursery. I'm here. That's the best I can offer. This is ridiculous. You're in charge. Is that a pip boy? I've heard about those. I really hope you find someone to help, but it's not me. Ah, you there. Are you that detective I've heard about? Yes. I guess you could say that. Oh, wonderful. I wasn't sure how I was ever going to find you. I haven't been able to find any of the local police force. The louts? I don't want to start a panic, but, well, we may have a murder on our hands, and we need an outside set of eyes. What is the location of the crime? Where did the crime take place? Cliff's Edge Hotel, just <gasps> north of the town. Will you help us? There may still be a murderer at large. Who's the victim? I really shouldn't say. Not here where there might be paparazzi lurking about. Will you help us solve this heinous crime? Okay, I'll help. Oh, thank goodness. Shall I guide you to the Cliff's Edge Hotel now? Where is it again? The Cliff's Edge Hotel, just up the coast from town. You really can't miss it. Shall we be off? Yeah, let's go. Let's be off then. All right. There's plenty of options. Not very soft skin. Uh, for things to do between Far Harbor and Acadia. And we haven't even gotten to the Children of Adam. World's so. Looks like it isn't just the police who have been lax lately. The Idlands building inspector ought to be fired. <sighs> Girl, are you aware there was a war? Restaurant. I love going to restaurant. Hey! They're fighting bad. Can you... We made it. I'm sorry, guys. I have to break the cats up.
Sorry, my cats would not stop fighting each other. And it wasn't like play fighting, it was like real. It's probably best Maxwell hasn't seen the state of the hotel. He would be devastated. I should warn you, some of the other hotel guests are a bit, um, rowdy. Okay. I was forced to defend myself when a few became a bit handsy, shall we say. The registered patrons are in a more exclusive area of the hotel, though, and do not associate with this sort of rabble. Shall we be off? What do you mean the other patrons are rowdy? I have not been in this part of the hotel for some time. Perhaps there is some sort of sporting event. That oh, has there's ghouls. Several of them tried to grab me and, well, their clothing was certainly not suitable for polite company. Shall we be off? Yeah, let's go. Very good. This way. Oh. Right to the taking. Oh. Okay. I guess you could call that trying.
yourself pretty well. I didn't say you were finished. Oh, fuck. Really? Oh, okay.
shit. I should have saved. Shit! Oh no. Up, oh, wait. There we go. to the exclusive area of the hotel. You should feel quite privileged that they will be allowing you in. What am I doing? After you. The elevator is right there. Uh, I don't entirely trust this, but okay. Whatever you say, Robo Lady.
Being a little buggy today. Uh. All right then. Wow. A lot. After you, the elevator is right there. Okay. Okay. I don't think it's gonna make a difference, but I don't understand why it's not doing anything. Excuse me. Oh. I'm going to try exiting to the main menu and see if that helps. Or I want to be here first. If that doesn't work, then I'm just going to go do a different quest. After you, the elevator is right there. Uh huh. Like, I got to the vault door, so, and it didn't do anything. Um. Oh, great. Oh, okay.
Oh. Yes, I'm the detective. Uh, thank goodness. Let me just open the door for you. Hey! Holy moly, I'm sorry. I see. I am not smart. That is showing because I have the other quest active. Okay, so I can't touch any of that. What the hell do you think you're doing? This is a crime scene. Do you not see the glory of the thing? The artistry. What the hell is wrong with you? Excuse me? Ezra, you have outdone yourself. <gasps> this is your finest work. There is more emotion in his death than most have had in their entire lives. Our oh, friend is away. dead, Mr. Amita. Have you no respect? I'm just saying that at least he had the decency to make a spectacle of it. There is nothing Please, worse if than I may. That's if what this I is could to just you. have your attention. You're sick. I'm sorry for shouting. But the detective has arrived and shall begin the investigation henceforth. Please return to your rooms until the detective has examined the crime scene and had a chance to come speak with you. Have a look at the crime scene for clues. When you're ready, we can discuss your findings. You are free to question the residents, but their safety is our priority. So unless you have solid evidence, I would avoid accusations. Protect and uh -huh. serve. Let's solve a mystery. Hello again, detective. Was there anything else? Your residents are robots. Not robots, detective. Well, not exactly, anyway. <laughs> I believe the term they use is robo-brain. Back before the war, the residents decided the best way to wait it out was to put their brains inside robotic Certainly chassis. a choice. Was there anything else? I'm not sure where I should start. I suppose you should try to figure out how he died, and then who had the means and motive to kill him. Once you have enough evidence, then I suppose you'll need to confront the killer. Was there anything else? Tell me about the victim. Mr. Ezra Parker was the primary owner and financier for the hotel. Financier. He had vast experience managing venture projects around the world. It was his idea to have our premier clients become investors in the vault section of the hotel. He worked with Vault Tech to have this built to their every specification. Was there anything else? Never mind. I'll be here should you need me. Is this blood? Looks like the brain enclosure was smashed. Bingo. A 
baseball bat. <laughs> what is All this right. doing here? Hey. I need to trade some things. I got too much stuff. Enough to go around. Was there anything else? I found the murder weapon. Oh no. That's the bat from Mr. McKinney's movie. You don't think he could be involved, do you? I can't imagine him ever doing such a thing. Was there anything else? Never mind. I'll be here should you need me. Okay, I will be right back. Better than that. You think I'm stupid? Hello, detective. 
How can I help? Did you have questions about the case? I found your baseball bat at the crime scene. Care to explain how it got there? Someone is clearly trying to frame me for the murder. It's probably Santiago. You saw him skulking around the crime scene. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? It's obviously Santiago. He keeps going back to look at the crime scene. What were you and Gilda talking about when I walked in? Hmm? Oh, we were just rehearsing a scene. Nothing to worry about. Never mind. Okay. Just let me know how I can help. You know, we figure out how to tame you from the wolf. It takes a long time. Something to think about. Can we talk about the murder? There will be plenty of time for that. We have more important matters to attend to. Come with me. Tell me, what does this piece say to you? I don't know. It looks kind of like a face. That spot is the eye. The red blotch is its hair, and it's sticking its tongue out. Indeed. This was the last piece I did in a series of portraits of Gilda. Number 1378. Her emotional landscape is superimposed on the portrait. The reality of the subject is distorted as the ego attempts to project itself. This way. Hmm. It looks like trees in space. Maybe it's about the struggle to maintain life adrift in an empty void? Oh, what a very literal interpretation. I asked what he communicated, not what shapes on the canvas were. He must have said. Please, I'm trying to investigate the case. He's dead. Your questions won't bring him back. We must look forward. Truth be told, this is my best-selling piece. I did this series under a pseudonym, of course. This series has made more money than any of my serious works. And I did the whole thing as a lark. What does that tell you about the value of art to the common man, huh? Hello, detective. Here to broaden your mind through artistic inspiration?
Did you have any thoughts about the murder? The person you should be looking at is Juliana Reeves. That Philistine would not know art from her own excrement. She and Ezra had a rather dramatic fight recently. You could hear her banshee screeches all the way across the hotel. What were Juliana and Ezra arguing about? I don't know. I was painting at the time and I was trying to block it out. Though I bet Gildo probably hurt them. Maybe you should check with her. I think you should explain why you keep returning to the crime scene. It's for inspiration, Detective. The others do not like to think about it, but even we shall die someday. Like Prometheus's torch, it kindles within me the fire to create as much art as I can with the time that I have. It sounds like you've done a lot of paintings of Gilda. Why her? Our Gilda is a very singular creature, Detective. Do you not see this water fear from within her? I have never met another who clings to life so tenaciously, who lives so in the moment. I must admit I was quite smitten with her for a time. Tell me about yourself. I don't care what about Gilda. I am one of the premier artists in the world. My work is primarily in oil paint, but mm. I have been known okay, to so I'm Tiago. performance art as well. You're still in love with Gilda. So what if I am? What business is it of yours? She deserves someone who truly understands her ephemeral beauty, not that brute actor. Uh. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. Never mind. Excuse me. Cat, please. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? Oh, well, that's not really my field of expertise, but I'm sure there are probably some clues at the crime scene. Oh, was there something else, you detective? Tell me about yourself. Oh, uh, well, I'm a scientist. Uh, you've probably met my wife, Juliana, already. I'm not sure what else to say, Billy. Oh, was there something else, you detective? I heard that Juliana and Ezra had an argument a few days before he was found dead. Tell me about that. Well, I was in my lab at the time, so I didn't, didn't, didn't hear it. But Juliana has always been rather critical of Mr. Parker. I think she found 
something in the overseer's office. Uh, I wasn't listening when she told me about it. I, I kind of had my oh. head in my research. Damn it, Bert. No, really. I tried to let her handle all the money stuff. Oh, was there something else, the detective? Tell me about your research. Well, I was one of the leads on the team that created the first Nuvo brains, the precursors uh, to our model. Uh, most people don't find it all that interesting, and I'd rather not bore you. Oh, was there something else, the detective? Never mind. Very well. I'll just get back to my work then. Juliana, yeah, Mr. Whisper's like dying last off in night. here. This is Cluffy. Remember? Oh. Hello, detective. Did you have a question about the heinous murder? Did you have any thoughts about the murder? If you ask me, it's one of those actors. Or that horrible painter. Their type is always the cause of violence. <laughs> I heard you had a big fight with Ezra a few days ago. Care to explain? Oh, well, it wasn't that big a deal, really. He wanted more money to pay for repairs on the hotel. I wasn't feeling well that day and lashed out a bit at the poor man. I really should have listened to him. Tell me about yourself. I'm Juliana Riggs, heiress to the Riggs fortune and wife of Bert Riggs. I'm not sure what else you expected, Detective. What's with all the junk in here? These are our things. We're just waiting till the war blows over so we can bring them back to mansion. <laughs> Never mind. Good luck catching the murderer, Detective. Interface matrix, and I'm sure I can clear that. Uh... No, no, it's not that. Uh, I've just caught another cold. Probably something that got in when they sent Pearl out. Oh, God, not this again. Last month you were convinced you had the measles. You're not a doctor. What would you even know about it? Besides, I think it may be malaria. First of all, I am a doctor. Yes, but not a real doctor. No. <laughs> Robotics isn't an actual medical degree. Secondly, <gasps> I've told you time and again, you can't get sick inside the suit. It's not physically possible. I know when I'm getting sick, Bert. Now, why don't you just wander off and play in your lab? Mr. Scruffy and I are going to rewrite the will, so he will get everything when I die because horrible Bert didn't believe me. Oh, God, Juliana. Have fun Whatever. there. Hello, Detective. Did you have a question about the heinous murder? Uh, maybe later. Good luck catching the murderer, detective. I don't trust you. Sweet deal. No way I could pick that. Maybe Maxwell has the key. Hello again, detective. Was there anything else? The door to the overseer's office is locked. Oh, yes. Mr. Parker locked it a while back after finding out if one of the other residents had been inside. Said it wasn't safe. If the key isn't on him, it's probably in Mr. Parker's room. Was there anything else? Never mind. I'll be here should you need me.
Thanks for the lurk. Yes. Is that actually worth something? Yeah. Let me live. So there, I had one deck, well, I had three ideas. One was basically 99 land, or 90 lands. And just win that way. This one, uh, it would um, the plant is large. Ah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't kill me, please. So I can't. Hey, that's not the deck. We're, we're not going. <laughs> we're, we're not doing. Um, it was a card that lets you basically. Vault 118 Overseer land, Instructions. And, and you could just keep doing that. Signed to test the social interactions between the working class and ultra wealthy when under confined conditions. Working in conjunction with staff in the Cliff's Edge Hotel. This vault shall function as a luxury hotel to attract the necessary testing subjects. Upon beginning the test, additional subjects shall be admitted from the local population into a second, much inferior wing of the vault. Oh boy. What could go wrong? But it's going to be, hopefully, you're not in my Admittance. Prior to experiment activation, Vault 118 shall function as an ultra elite hotel to attract test subjects to appropriate wealth of appropriate wealth and status. This shall be operated as a clandestine area of the hotel to ensure that individuals drawn to privilege and exclusive exclusivity are present. <coughs> Upon activation, notice from Vault Tech, the secondary wing of the vault shall be made open to the public and selected from the local working class population. These subjects are to be taken through the exclusive areas of the vault on entry, but therefore confined to two cramped se second wing. Once residents have been admitted, the vault is to be sealed until test results can be determined. Oh, yeah. Like, the apocalypse wasn't bad enough. <clears throat> Test group A, ultra elite. This subject group, not to number more than 10, shall have their every desire tended to by robotic staff to the extent that is possible. They are considered to be above all legal restrictions when interacting with Test group B. Test group B, working class. This subject group should begin numbering 300 it shall be restricted to the second wing of the vault i didn't realize the first group was only 10. 
Measures should be taken to ensure that living conditions are uncomfortable and cramped. Food and other rations should be extremely limited, and any breach of rules are to be judged by test group A and in, enacted by robots, robotic staff members. So I, I did have a question about what could this. could go thing. wrong. So just talking about how this thing works in, um, in Commander. Due to the potential for extreme so social interactions, vault tech staff the shall be restricted to the uh, overseer and, and key research members. All other security, services, and maintenance positions shall be filled by robotic staff to ensure safety yes. and test compliance. It says when child and wire dies, which for all non maintenance. See us log. Yes. Change of so testing parameters. Like this is completely unheard of. One of the subjects in the testing group A is apparently a researcher for general atomics on some sort of okay. advanced robotics program. He and his wife have convinced the other members of Group A that with the in international situation becoming tense once again, their best chance to outlast the war is to have their brains inserted into these robots. Yes. There's ten recursion cards because... Uh, and they're doing this voluntarily. It's absolutely insane. I've tried to convince my superiors that this will co completely discount the test results, but they seem more intrigued by the idea That's than appalled. That's my, my question was. And then I kind of have one other question, and it's about... Um, Receive the activation notice from Vault Tech to begin the test, despite the second wing still being incomplete. Uh, However, when I attempted to trigger the recruitment protocol for Test Group B, the system informed me that I had been locked out. Someone from Test Group A seems to have overridden the system to prevent the admittance of the local population of the island. They've been pounding on the door for days, and there's nothing I can do. I can't take this. It's been weeks now, and I realized today that I've become the test subject. Instead of testing the social interactions between the locals and this group of rich assholes, it's just me trapped in here with them. They're going to live forever, and I have to deal with them for the rest of my life. I can't take it. Okay. Sounds like Ezra was embezzling from his investors. Thank you. I found so some evidence that Ezra land. was embezzling from you yes, and the other investors. So you can well, if I leave that. I basically Mr. Parker game, wouldn't do such a thing, I'm sure. I'm drawing all my fucking games and playing them and having, um... I think you're the real murderer. <laughs> That's just right. silly, detective. Why would I want to kill Mr. Parker? Ezra was embezzling your money. That's why you killed him and framed Keith. You were so close, uh, Detective. I think I have a lot it's a shame. Oh. I thought I could keep the ruse going a little longer. Oh, so, well. there, there's a lot had to end eventually, I suppose. This doesn't have to end but in some of more them violence, Detective. Just walk away. I'll leave, and you can tell them no. I escaped. If anybody sees this, they're going to know what the fucking wind con is. Not a chance. Your murder spree stops here. Then let us end this. Well, no. I... Well, no. 
I would sacrifice normal lands like forests to bog it and play the game. You're dead. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the whole, the whole point is just to get out the room. Ah! La 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 la. I found the killer. It was Ezra. He killed Juliana and took her place to hide his tracks. My <laughs> word! I never thought Mr. Parker was capable of something like this. What happened when you confronted him? He attacked me, but it's over now. Your residence, you're safe. There you are, detective. Payment for your services and a bonus for uncovering such a heinous plot. I don't think we could Yay. have done it without you. Sweet deal. All right. All right, back to Far Harbor we go. Yeah, back we go. Avery. I'll be straight with you. 
It's never easy to ask anyone on this island for help, much less a stranger. But I've got a responsibility to these people, and I have a job for you if you're up for it. Besides, I know you're tougher than you look. I'm happy to help with anything I can. If you say so. We get our drinking water from a purifier not far outside of town. We had a bad storm not long before you got here, and it must have damaged the fog condensers that protect the road to the purifier. I sent Howard Dunbar out to fix them. He was out there when... Hey, Sea Feather, thank you so much for the follow. The worst happened. Appreciate it very, very much. If you're up to it, just head south out of town. It's paying work, of course. I wouldn't ask a stranger to stick their neck out on our behalf unless I was willing to pay a fair share for it. Thank you. I love my Snorlax. All right. I'll head out there now. Good. Our water supply won't last much longer. Don't let the island catch you off guard. Buy my guns. Need it? The bait shop's got With ordinance like that, no wonder Alan. you wiped out those huh. crabs. The mainlander. Great. Do you have uh, you fusion you you cells? Sort of this is our fight. Our island. Not yours. Hey, buddy. I was just trying to help. Charity makes you weak. <sighs> what happens next time when you... Either us harbormen subrect. So if you're here to buy some ordinance, do your business. Oh, Alan, you dick. I'll take a look. Make it fast. Why is there such an echo? Um, okay. There we go. Oh, yeah. There's no way. Anyone's going to be able to take all of that. Nobody's heard nothing from Haddock Cove after the fog started spreading. Guns, ammo, and souvenirs. Hey, Doc. Dark days. Lost another patient. Andre. It never gets easy. Please tell me you're feeling well, at least. Do you have any medical supplies? Sure. I can barter. I'll be damned if I give up on taking hey, back my land. What you got? Fresh shipment. Sure, check the stash. All your medical.
people and food needs. Need some doctoring? Here you go. Let's see your stock. Works for me. Protect your loved ones with my fine hand cannons. You know, when I'm feeling down, a little commerce always cheers me up.
Not me running away. <laughs> Come here. Fuck you. You killed Howard. the fog condensers myself. Two. Get out of here, fog. Fuck you. you I'm not running back there when I could vast travel why would I You're annoying. Wakey, Those wakey. Fog condensers are back online. I fixed it. I know your secret. I know your secret. Good. Our water supply was starting to get low. Wasn't sure how much longer we could hold out. Did you find Howard? He died trying to get those condensers fixed. The man is a hero. Yes. Yes, he is. I'll make sure we remember him as such. Well, I said it was paying work. 200 caps should be enough. Thanks. Glad I could help you out. That makes two of us. Now, here's your pay. I've got to start making arrangements for Howard. So I'll say goodbye. Sorry, my hand is just very stiff. Both of them are. Okay.
this world. Buy my guns now. The hull took a battering. To be sure. But she wouldn't be standing at all if it weren't for you. You're welcome. They call me the Mariner. Shipwright. Handyman. And the only one keeping the harbor afloat. Well, besides Captain Avery. A pleasure to meet you. Likewise. I hope the island doesn't kill you quick. Or slow, for that matter. I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools. Specialized tools. And they won't be easy to come by. 450 caps if you can, though. Sign me up. I'll help. Eagle's Cove Tannery. Tools are certain to be there. Now get. Get the power tools. Who? Stim packs. Fully stocked. All right, I will be right back. I need to use the bathroom. <laughs>
Okay. We're back. <coughs> it's like the craziest shit going on in Reddit comments where people are milling for like 75 and stuff and there's a fucking guy. And they're like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> guns, guns, and more guns. <coughs> oh, we gotta go far. Let's, oh shit, I forgot. Da, 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 da. I'm probably not gonna do a full three hours. I think I'm gonna end at like 8.30 or so. I just, I have some things I wanna do. And I need to not be too late when I'm doing them. Soft skin. Thanks, Hancock. Love you, babe. Okay. We ain't all ah, no! No! <laughs> Well, they tried. I guess you could call that trying. All righty. <sighs> Let 
let's go see what these quests involve. Let's do that. I'm gonna switch it up a little. Alrighty, Acadia, here we are. Hey there. So, you've talked to Dima. You know why we're here. I certainly hope that you'll consider helping us. Dima's vision is worth fighting for. Except Dima is evil. You're right. It is a good cause. Synths definitely deserve to be safe, just like everyone else. It's so good to hear that. Very encouraging. Please, make sure Dima knows that as well. He's put so much of himself into this. All his time and energy devoted to helping others. He never stops to think of himself. Sometimes I worry about... Well, if I wasn't here to make sure his equipment is all functional. And that's not even mentioning maintaining the fog condensers. So many things to keep track of. Seems like he's lucky to have you help him. Thank you. That's very kind. If there's anything I can do to help out, just let me know. Well, if you're determined to help, there is something you could do. It's likely somewhat dangerous, though, so I understand if you'd rather not. This might there's be a the boat along the coast of the play. island. It was transporting some hardware we'll we needed. Be done. Storage drives. The boat never finished the trip, you see. So the drives are still out there. I could really use them here for extra parts, if nothing uh. else. My understanding is that the boat wrecked southwest of here, so... Does this sound like something you could handle? Sure thing, Faraday. I'll get the drives for you. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Hey there. You track Kasumi here. I'm impressed. Perhaps not as quietly or efficiently as possible. Thankfully, she was never in any real danger. I'm afraid your journey was unnecessary. I wanted to see for myself that she's safe. You have my word. Acadia is a safe haven for synths. Were it not, I would not have aided anyone in reaching it. Every synth I've tracked down, every synth convinced to come I hate how she looks has just been like assured Desdemona, that he or she will come to no walls. harm. My job is to make sure they all remain safe, no matter what. Understand? How do you manage to track down synths and bring them here? I have a network of contacts throughout the area. Some from my time with the Institute, some after. I know the Institute's tactics and use that to my advantage. You have Dima's blessing, so by all means, make yourself comfortable. So what's your story? I used to be a courser, returning synths that had escaped from the Institute. I was tracking a synth and instead found Dima. He convinced me of the truth and the error of my ways. I rejected the Institute, made sure they couldn't track me, and dedicated my life to instead helping synths find freedom. Tell me about Acadia. Dima's told you most of what you need to know. It's as safe as we can make it for now. With every new synth we rescue, we're better able to defend ourselves. I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? Actually, as a matter of fact, there is. If you're serious about contributing, well, we've got a situation I need someone to look into. You've had some experience traveling around the island, so you may be decently equipped to handle it. All right, I'm listening. We were expecting a new synth to arrive, and he should have been here by now. Oh, There's no. been no sign of him. And I'm concerned that he might have become lost on the way here. You have any leads on where he might be? You should start by talking to Brooks in Far Harbor. He's one of us. 
a simp. He's the one who meets the new arrivals and gets them started on the journey here. Of course, he's not likely to tell you anything without proof that you're working for me. If he doesn't cooperate, tell him that his designation is L-792. That should convince him. That's as much help as I can give you for now. Please, hurry. If that synth is out there alone, he won't last long. Talk to girl. Check this out. Since that other quest is going to take me a while to get to, and I don't have the energy for that. If we kill any more of the children of Adam, there could be war, Alan. Just stop this. This ain't some innocent, Avery. This is a damn saboteur. Those condensers down by the freshwater. The storm didn't take them out. She did. Shetty Mike spotted her. I... but... the children... It... It's like I've been saying. The children of Adam are out to kill us all. This here saboteur meant to cut us off from food and water. Punishment is pretty clear, Captain. Do what you must. Yeah! Children bastards! You were right, Alec. Now will you listen to sense? The children of Adam need to be wiped clean off this island. You've had your blood today. I can't stomach any more of it. All of you. Show's over. Go home. I hope the business? harbor's been good to you. At this point, I'd settle if folks were just plain civil. I'll pass. Is anybody gonna buy anything? Alan, you need to chill. I don't, don't really like, like you anymore. Long on the island. If you got caps, I got goods. I need to talk to you about our missing synth. Yeah? Well, it's not something I talk about with outsiders. So you can either buy something or move along. I'm working with Chase. She told me that your designation is L-792. Okay, I believe you. But keep it down, all right? It's real private information. I don't know the synth you're talking about. He's a younger guy. Maybe early 20s with white hair. Goes by the name Derek. Thing is, he showed up way earlier than he was supposed to. Thought a courser was on his tail, so he rushed the timetable. To be honest, the guy was a wreck. He was scared shitless, looking over his shoulder every five minutes and attracting unwanted attention. Tried to calm him down, but he panicked and ran off into the fog. That was the last I saw of him. Relax. I'll Ooh. take care of this. Sorry. My nerves are a little shot right now. Look, if you're really going after that synth, Pretty sure he took the road south out of town. Maybe you could head that way. Just be careful out there. And thanks. There aren't many who'd go out in the fog to help a synth. Especially one they don't even know. I feel like shit about what happened. I really do. I hope you can make it right. Oh. 
why do I feel like that's deceivingly close? Hmm, there's a trail of blood. I'm soft. I can't handle myself. I'll take down a crawler, and that'll show him. Fresh meat crawling in from the fog. Don't care if it's my lurk or man. I'm not looking for trouble. I just need to find someone. A young man with white hair. You help me, I'll leave. You won't leave. Ever! All right, there we are. Yeah, so I will be back on Wednesday. We'll do more of this. Maybe some Animal Crossing, too. It should be a good time. Your missing synth was jumped by cannibal trappers. He didn't survive. That's cool.
Your missing synth was jumped by cannibal trappers. He didn't survive. That poor bastard. That synth came here to live in peace, and we failed him in the worst way I mean, possible. He got so it's my fault. And ran off. I should have gone out there to meet him. Damn it all. I'm glad we were able to bring some closure to the matter. You deserve this. And shall we say 200 caps? I'm sorry things didn't turn out better. I wish they had. You and I both. Thanks again for your help. Be safe out there. All right. I will be back on Wednesday. I hope everybody has a good rest of their day, afternoon, evening, and I will see you then. Bye.